up you guys it's your girl Ashley back with another video and if you couldn't tell by the title it is my 11 month update like I'm so excited right now like my cheeks are on fire but anyways I'm so excited like it's only one month before you reach the infamous one year mark like I mean it probably won't be too many changes at all in my hair in one month but still it's like it's an accomplishment it's a goal and I'm excited about it I also have something special for you guys planned so definitely check out that video you know subscribe if you haven't um anyways yeah so also I'm pretty sure you guys haven't noticed but I am currently corset training so if you're interested in something like that let me know in the comments down below um lastly i want to apologize for, to you guys because in my last video i mentioned that i would come back in a couple of days to show you guys my retwist it's more than like a couple weeks so i apologize for that i'll try and get better with that um but yeah, we're definitely going to get into the retwist this video, and then uh, we're going to do that first, and then we're going to get into the update, okay? Ah! Alright, here's what I'm going to be using for my hair today. First, we're going to start off with the black soap. <clears throat> I have mentioned this in my skincare routine video. I use this to shampoo with. I use this to bathe with. It's an awesome soap and it's really natural. Next, I have my coconut oil. As you can see, it's almost out. So I will definitely be repurchasing really soon. Next, I have my DIY homemade rose water. Um... If you want to see how I made this, just keep watching towards the end of this video. I also use the roses in the background for my rose water. And lastly, I have a black t-shirt. I use a black t-shirt because it reduces the length and freeziness. Um, towels can do damage to your locks. So, yeah, that is it, you guys. you guys forgive me if my son is screaming in the background y'all anybody that knows babies say they, they don't care about nothing that's going on around them anyways i went ahead and twisted my whole head because i don't have enough memory in my phone or my camera to film the whole thing okay so here's my hair Save one for you guys so you can see how I retwist my hair. So first I take my rose water. I also put 
peppermint oil and tea tree oil in here for the itch. So what I do is I'm very generous with the rose water. Okay. Next, I work it in pretty nicely so that it's more malleable. Okay, next I take my mango and lime lock and cream wax. Okay. Take about this much. I know that may seem like a lot, but I haven't had a retwist in a while, guys. So I just work that in too. Okay, then I start to twist. Twist, twist. And then I roll my hands together. And then I clip. I don't always clip right at the root sometimes. I just clip midpoint. But yeah. So that's how I retwist my hair, you guys. Oh, one second. I retwist. I put this. It's a little difficult right now. My head is big, but I put this on my head. I keep my clips in for about a day. So I try to keep my schedule clear so that when I go out of the house like this or take them out prematurely. So yeah, I don't have anything to do today. So chill. No! Babies always trying to kill themselves. Why? Why? Like, I'm just done right now. But okay, last but not least, I like I showed you guys earlier. This is my coconut oil. This is for hair purposes only. They have some that you can consume, but the one that I have, it says it's for hair, so I'm not gonna eat it. Mm, it smells so good. So what I do is I take a nice amount. Rub it in my hands. Rub it in. It's real nice and hot. And I just kind of like put it in my hair on my locks. I don't put too much because I have a spray bottle that I use that also has coconut oil in it. So this is just good for right now. If I feel like I need to reapply, then. Sorry, y'all. That was too tight on my head, so I just pushed it back. And then I'm going to put my head scarf over the front and tie it down that way because I was about to get a headache. If you guys can't tell by my face, I am obviously irritated. And that's because I just recently bought a memory card for my camera. And I sit down to start filming. And after two very short clips, it says that my memory is full. So now I have to film with my janky phone. So yeah, I'll definitely be investing in another camera very, very soon. sure you guys just saw me retwisting my hair um so now we're gonna get into the 11th month update so and we'll do a 360 at the end and talk about the retwist and all that jazz so changes i have not had any changes none whatsoever it's pretty much the same as last month as far as the answers that I'm going to give. I recently started using rose water and this is homemade. I just made this either yesterday or the day before yesterday. I made this. I'm going to insert a clip of what I did right here.
also put after I put it in the refrigerator because it is boiling hot. You want to you like you don't want to use it right then after you make it. You want to let it cool overnight. But after I put it in this bottle, I also put some tea tree oil and some peppermint oil in here to help with the itch. And um, it. Some people don't like the smell of roses. I think it's okay. But the peppermint oil and tea tree oil definitely help with the fragrance. Or you can put your own fragrance like lavender or, you know, jojoba oil or castor oil or something like that. Let's get you. Okay. One thing that I wanted to mention is that one thing I've realized in the past couple weeks is that my hair, I need to give it more loving. Because, like, even I'm a low maintenance person. And I would love for me to be able to just walk out the house and shake my hair and go. But that's not really the case for a lot of people. So you have to, like, as much as I want that to happen, if I want it to look a certain way, if I want it to be healthy, I have to give my hair a little bit more loving. Because um, my edges suffered because I didn't care for them properly. And me just saying, oh, I'm just going to leave them be, is not going to fix anything. I have to give them special care and attention to revive them, or for them to recover from the damage that has been done. And I don't want to just believe that, oh, my age is just bad. No, I just, I have to show them a little more care. So, um, as you can see, the hair that I wrapped around this one is sliding back it's sliding back so okay just letting you guys know that i will be using a needle and thread to secure my lock to my new growth on my edges i will not be recording this because i just want to focus on doing it correctly more so than catching it on camera and I'm sure you guys can respect that. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.